right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are real time today. We got season three, episode five of Dairy Girls. Last episode was the Aaron and James kiss. Mm. They kissed. He revealed his feelings for her. I'm all here for it, honestly. Me too. I, Me I too. love it. And the other girls aren't, though, especially Michelle. I don't even know. They who don't know. know. It's only, only Michelle only who knows. Michelle knows. Yeah. It's a secret. Yeah, I mean, if they continue like this and then they stop being friends, it would ruin their friendship. Like mm -hmm. she said, she'd have to pick a side. And it's just a bad situation, but I think they should still be together. Yeah. Right. As of as of right now, Mich or, uh, Aaron, like, talked to james and like told him that she agrees with michelle and like that she doesn't think it's a good idea but james is such a sweetheart he he said that he can wait yeah. so i feel like uh even if we don't get anything about it this episode i feel like before the show wraps up here in a few episodes they're gonna talk about it again at some point yeah well i was gonna say we only have two more episodes of the show after this like after this yeah so they're gonna obviously get together i think they're gonna be girlfriend and boyfriend I hope so. I think we all can manage it. But I'm excited to see how this thing wraps up. They went on a little adventure last episode. In the last few episodes, we've been going on adventures, going different places, getting out of Dairy London. So I want to see this place get out. I want to. I want to see what they do in these last two episodes. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Though before we get into this one, if you guys have been enjoying all of our Dairy Girls reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, Discord, social medias, and the address to our PO box on there. But yeah, let's get into it. Season three, episode five of Dairy Girls. Let's go. What's happened here? Starting to help the eating plan, Jerry. What? No sugar, no dairy, no carbs, no meat. That's the oh man, plan. this is because they saw Aideen. We can have as many oranges as we like. Oh. oranges alone, girls. With no choice, dear. They both need to drop a dress size before this school reunion. <laughs> oh, I got a reunion coming up. Do I want to know why you're reading a book on the Russian Revolution? Oh, because it's just one of my wee interests. Silly. <laughs> I've always been into Russia, Jerry. You know that. <laughs> you should never. Definitely. Definitely. There's probably a Russian person here. I've seen some of these girls. Back then, everybody thought I was a bimbo. No. But tonight... <laughs> <laughs> Um, they were. No. They'll be wondering why you're harping on about Rasputin. Rasputin! I was big and strong! 500 times 5. What are we doing here? Cut to the chase. <laughs> How many pounds can we lose? Almost one. Almost one? Is that it? Are you sure? The numbers never lie, I'm married. Is there another way we can shift half a stone before 8 o'clock? Cut off a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's bound to be a bit sad too, though, Mammy. All the old friends that didn't make it. I think most of the girls are going. Yeah, the ones that are still alive. But I'm sure a few have, you know, died from old age. Old oh age, gosh. dude. Well, girls, you wait in yet? Why can't I have normal food? I'm not trying to drop a drink. <laughs> yeah. That's very bloody supportive. Orange, Daddy. Now you're grand, love. Jim across the road's doing me a fray. Uh. <laughs> I've let it out in the bed and needed to try it on. And you, Seuss? Duns were having a sale. Who are you trying to impress? Nobody, Jeanette Joyce, formerly O'Shea. I am not trying to impress Jeanette Joyce, formerly O'Shea. Is that Jenny's mom? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. It has to be Jenny Joyce, Jeanette Joyce. We weren't good enough for the likes of Jeanette then. Oh, no. He's a surgeon now. He took out all his tonsils. And just point blank refusing to give them back. <laughs> <laughs> you were friends with Jenny. But sure, she lost the run of herself then, Mary, didn't she? Started using fancy words and all. What kind of fancy words? Like, you know, brunch. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's the fanciest of words. You know what happened on Lever's night tonight? Flashback? I remember. I was there. What? What? No, okay. I wanted one. Any side of Jeanette? I haven't been looking for Jeanette. I'm not interested in Jeanette. What? Is it her? Is it Jeanette? Is she here? <laughs> Oh my god, it's Kieran. My suit, Kieran. The Duns, was it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're matching. This is great. Thanks for inviting me. Well, John Travolta wasn't available. <laughs> I mean... Good evening, ladies. Good evening, sister. I didn't know you were coming, sister. No, I mean, we're not really expected to attend the reunion, but I couldn't... Did everyone just graduate same year? <laughs> oh, they're starting to start it. There's every bastard in Derry on this thing. <laughs> it would seem so. Why would you? Jesus Christ, I... Is that Claire's dad? Oh, here's a big fella. Is that not our husband? Not at all. Maybe it's her bit of stuff. You're a girl. Might not with you. It's working nights, so I thought I'd bring Rob instead. Who's <laughs> the fella, do you think? I told you, Rob. Rob. Remember Rob? My cousin from America. Canada. Canada. <laughs> Am I 
American cousin Rob? Canadian cousin Rob. Christ, that must be. 20 years ago, things got a bit too bomby. Hi, because America's so safe. Uh, Canada. You were there. Labor's night, the school disco. What a night that was. Do tell us more, Rob. Look, it's the Brat Pack. Where did you come from? <laughs> why, is, why is Joe here? Who are you? That's my cousin Rob. Very pleased to meet you. What part of America are you from? Country. <laughs> There is a Montreal in Canada, you know. Yep. Is that right? <laughs> oh, I love this one. Me too. Would you like to dance? I actually would. Would you hold this for me? <laughs> <laughs> Without gear. <Kieran. laughs> he was there. The night of the school leaver's death. Oh. So? So? He knows? Oh, no. Knows what? He knows. Flashback. Yes. That's Is that Joe? Mary? Yeah. Joe's driving. Sarah. <laughs> One of the weak bastards won't take no for an answer. Use this. Oh, he's safe. You should come to the disco with us. Do you have concussion? <laughs> Be wild, <laughs> I can't believe we're seeing them young right now. That's awesome. I wish their mom was in this. I know. Oh, to the right, boys to the left. Oh, that's Sister Michael? No. no. What? I'm gonna see Jerry. I hope so. Is Jerry here? Do you know my frock's on inside out? Why is your frock on inside out, Charlie? That's Claire's mom. Incident? Why goes it, ladies? <laughs> you know your frock's on inside out? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Michelle's mom. Yeah. Say hello, Rob. There hello, he is. Rob. <laughs> 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 he has to stick with me. I have a note. It's He's like James. Yeah, yeah, literally. Shitting themselves about him maybe getting, I don't know, killed or something. I got the gear. Don't ask. I mean, no. It's better if you don't ask. They're just literally the exact same yeah. as their moms. And now that James and Aaron kissed, I feel like Mary and this Rob guy are gonna kiss. Mm, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> this is cool. Man. I like this a lot. <laughs> and he's a cameraman like James. Is that her? Oh, yeah. Just doesn't even acknowledge their existence. They look like robots. <laughs> I love the suits. Yeah, wow. Well, she's married to a certain Mary. I'd be delighted too. Ranso. <laughs> Plus, that particular surgeon doesn't talk. What do you mean he doesn't talk? 15 years I've been nursing in that hospital, not a peep out of him. Can he talk? I mean, he used to talk. Back when they started going out. Then he just stopped. Jesus, but that's awesome. What? <laughs> Why does someone just stop talking? <laughs> yeah, well, we need to find this, figure this out. Tell them what you are, so go on. I'm a photographer. No, not that. What's so great about that? The other thing. Uh, he's a gay. <laughs> I'm a raging homosexual. This is correct. <laughs> he has seriously. Our daughter's a gay. That's what I. <laughs> <laughs> How is she finding it? All right, I think. I mean, she's 17, so she's just starting out. She's not as established as someone like her. <laughs> <laughs> the chances of an accidental teenage pregnancy are lowered quite significantly with the lesbian daughter. That's true. Much lower. That's true. Who the hell does she think she is? Jeanette? Jeanette? Nope. Jeanette? Jeanette? <laughs> Dude. Jeanette? 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 <laughs> Oh, uh, fake. I realize you were here. Really? Because you look straight out of there, Jeanette. Jeanette, so it's really Don't know if you know my husband, Richard. He's a surgeon. <laughs> he doesn't talk. Very pleased to meet you. This <laughs> is Sarah, Deirdre, Geraldine, and Marie. Mary. Mary. Oh. You know, Jeanette, 
I actually think it was the continuation of oh my the God. First World War, which led to growing unrest <laughs> and support for this. Dude, you don't just throw in information like that. ...to seize power in 1917. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great suit. Uh, how much did you pay for it, if you don't mind me asking? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's your star sign? <laughs> Fair enough. I would not say that. Any of you guys are surgeons, but it's really full on. Yeah, that's why I packed it in eventually. <laughs> I retrain as a delivery van driver, then I'll have more time for me. They <laughs> <laughs> really want him to talk. Oh no. That's such a funny joke. That's hilarious. Uh. That is hilarious. <laughs> Before you head off, son, I have a question for you. When you take someone's tonsils out, do you hang on to them? You chuck them away? Oh, I'll pass that on. What was that? Probably asking for Orla. Well, we yeah. should all do brunch sometime. <laughs> brunch. I want him to talk. Yeah, the thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do it now either. You're sure I did? I know, I get that. It's just, well, when I said it, I never thought any of you would actually go for it because, well, it's mad. What do they want to do? I've just been informed that the IRA have mounted a roadblock on the Craig Evans Bridge, which means nobody can enter the school grounds and nobody can leave. But we'll pray our way out of here, folks. Oh. You were saying? Ah. Oh. Imagine if he found out. Careful now, Mary. Before what happened? Uh-oh. People wouldn't understand, girls. They wouldn't understand. I think we should let sleeping dogs cry. We should let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> we should let sleeping dogs do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> I have carried this around with me for over 20 years. We all have. Well, no more. No more. What did they do? <laughs> Dude. I mean, it's incredible. Not a squeak. <laughs> I was just wondering if I could scare the shit out of him. Like, jump out suddenly from behind something. That might get a rise out of him. Uh, I thought I might have a heart condition. One second. What's Rob got planned? Excuse me. That didn't work. Uh, I don't think so. Impossible. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he just went, man. <laughs> about what? About the summer of 77? About the Labour's disco? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. Oh, sweet Jesus, the Polaroid. What Polaroid? Brad photographed it. Who the fuck is Brad? Me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> She's mad. Oh, like that? Is it? On, this guy's going to talk. To the fairy tree. I'm so freaking confuzzled. What the heck went down at the disco? <laughs> <laughs> what the? You're ours. You didn't run it. You didn't run it. Christ, God, you didn't kill someone, did you? This is the place. Oh, God, dude. What's happening right now? Richard? I'm so, so sorry. What's happening right now, bro? A two? Oh. Every time we look at them, we'll remember this. That's it? They all have matching tattoos. I hope in 10, 20, 30 years time that another group of girls find this box. Look at these photographs and say, Jesus, but they must have been a bunch of bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? <laughs> they just all have tattoos. <laughs> Is that a tattoo? <laughs> have you had a tattoo since 1977 and I've never seen it? Lucky you haven't seen Jerry. So sorry, Dad. Ah, sure, I'm not bothered with that, love. Sure, your mother had a tattoo. What? Where? 
Mm. <laughs> you stop speaking to us once you met your fancy boyfriend. You didn't even come to me at tea. Because you told Richard we definitely weren't invited. I told Richard you definitely were invited. Oh. Oh. Uh, so Richard's great at the surgery. Not so good at the fast <laughs> and all the messages. So he just mix it up and that's why. See, this is why I don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it. <laughs> Did he talk? Yeah, what? Sure haven't changed a bit. 1977. Bunch of bad bitches. Well, Christ, look at those smiles. We have no idea how bad things are gonna get. What an app. We did alright. That's not us. What? <laughs> I was gonna say it didn't look like them, bro. This must be the wrong tree. Dear Jesus. Alright, so no no kids in this episode. We didn't we got a little bit of Aaron and Oral at the beginning, but other than that, we had a school reunion for the the elders. The the older people. They're back in school. We got a little flashback to nineteen seventy seven and that was cool. It was cool seeing them young. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, we like we said, just literally the same situation kind of as what the kids are in now, with the four girlfriends and then the one cousin from another place. Rob. Rob. He was he was American. No, he was Canadian. But <laughs> but yeah, it was cool getting to see them. I thought uh, they all looked pretty similar, honestly, mm -hmm. and yeah. like they were all kind of had their daughter's personalities definitely so you can see why they're like the kids are the way they are yeah honestly this was one of my favorite episodes i kind of have always wanted a flashback episode to see what mary and sarah were like when they were younger um i honestly never even thought about seeing the other girls parents too but it, it makes so much sense now mm -hmm. that they were all like a big group of friends back then too um, and they have their very own James. Yeah. Our Rob has been coming from Canada. Briefly, though. I think he was only there for that dance. Yeah. But, yeah, th this episode was awesome. I think it's some of the most I've laughed in, in all these episodes. Um, it was kind of refreshing. Not that, like, it was cool to not have the kids, but I think it was just different and, you like, a refreshing episode to uh -huh. just be focused on the parents the whole time. I really liked it a lot. I wonder if, like, going forward, I guess there's not many episodes left, only yeah. two, but, like, hopefully that they're just friends with Jenny's mom now. Because, like, Maybe, yeah. it was all just a misunderstanding. The guy just didn't say the message right. That's crazy. For 20 years or whatever, they just haven't been friends because Richard said the wrong thing. That's why he doesn't talk. <laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our Dairy Girls reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. we got our Patreon, Discord, social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 3, Episode 6 of Dairy Girls. Peace out.